Hey there, viewers. Let's face it, kids can't get enough sugar. Cookies, candies, ice cream, you name it. Of course, you never want to tell your kid they can't have their favorite treat. It's only when it becomes frequent that it turns into a real problem. Let's stop it before it becomes an addiction. Let's talk about how you can stop your toddler from eating too much sugar. How bad is it for them? What's the best alternative? We're talking all that and more. How bad can sugar be for your child? Sugar can give kids a blast of energy. One chocolate bar can have them moving like a roller coaster. The problem is, it spikes up your blood. Sugar also affects your kids' teeth and develops the risk of diabetes and obesity early on. Children can also get mood swings after the effect of sugar has subsided. This means facing a really furious kid. What are some special occasions when your kid is allowed candy? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our ever-growing bestie community. How much sugar should kids eat? Pediatricians advise children under two years of age not to consume any added sugar. Kids aging from four to six years can have five cubes or 19 grams of sugar daily. Kids between seven to 10 can have six cubes or 24 grams of sugar. Kids more than 11 years of age can have 30 grams of sugar, which are equal to almost seven cubes. This is the maximum level of sugar recommended and not the sugar quota for children. Let me give you an example. 330 milliliters of Coke contains nine cubes or roughly 35 grams of sugar. This is way too much for children belonging to any age group. This was just to make you mindful about your kids' food choices. Avoiding sugar can safeguard your child's health in the future. Eating too much sugar at a young age itself can take you down the road of obesity. It can increase your child's body mass index in later life. Obesity is the mother of all chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Healthy eating habits should be encouraged from childhood to raise healthy teenagers and adults for the future. Obesity opens the door for other diseases like fatty liver, gout, and joint pain. Research has shown that sugar can weaken your child's immune system. It's also a major contributor to eczema, asthma, reduced concentration, and stomach pains. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. What is the best alternative to sugar? Sugary drinks and foods have empty calories. All sugars are not equal. Natural sugar is necessary for a child's complete growth and development. Sneak some fruit, dairy, and green beans into your child's diet. The sugar from these foods will help them. A study showed that 16% of calories in children came from added sugar. This is pretty concerning, since even adults are recommended to have only 10% of their daily calories through sugar. Just binging away on sweets can lead to nutritional deficiencies too. A kid drinking soda will miss out on all the calcium from milk. This deprives them of good teeth and strong bones. It's no surprise that sugar can make your kid's teeth rot at a faster rate. But if you think they're just baby teeth and eventually just fall out, you're wrong. Infections and decay in baby teeth can also cause serious problems to permanent teeth. Teach your kid how to properly brush their teeth from an early age. Hidden sugars. Sugar almost works like an undercover agent. It's often labeled healthy when it isn't. These include things like granola bars, yogurt, cereal, pasta, ketchup, and applesauce. Always look out for labels stamped with corn syrup, brown rice syrup, raw sugar, and crystal solids. These are all the nicknames for sugar. Rather than drinking fruit juice, give your kid a glass of water when they're thirsty. Now we've listed some red flags you might come across if your kid's addicted to sugar. If your kid starts freaking out over the possibility of not getting their favorite treat, they may have developed a dependence on added sugars. Your child can make repeated requests for more treats, even after consuming a whole bar of chocolate. If you tell them no, your child may throw tantrums or have meltdowns. Kids can get really smart at times and start taking sweets out of your sight. They might even have a little hiding spot with a collection of all their favorite goodies. Parents might start restricting kids from sugar. Just be prepared for your child to rebel. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn about the 19 signs you're suffering from calcium deficiency. Is your kid hooked on sugar? Well, here are some effective ways to fight all that. Number one, feed them more fruit. Eating junk food can make your child sick. You can boost their immunity by giving them lots of fruits and veggies. Fruits like blueberries enhance their brain function, reducing their stress and giving them energy. After infancy, honey can be introduced to them in small quantities. It's also a good source of immunity-building nutrients. Number two, change menus. 
Scrap traditional cereals and give your child an egg instead. Choline from the egg will also make the brain function efficiently throughout the day. For lunch, pack a banana. It's filled with potassium and fiber. This will help kids concentrate better. Number three, veggies for eye health. Some researchers believe that too much sugar can ruin eyesight. Giving your child carrots, avocados, broccoli, and eggs can be the ultimate food for great vision. Stir frying these veggies in some cod liver oil doesn't taste that bad at all. Stop buying so much junk food. Eating too many cookies, candies, cakes, and soda will keep your child from getting the vitamins they need. The next time you're at the grocery store, just skip the sweets aisle. Your kids follow what they see. If you binge on junk food consistently, they're going to do the same. Train them young. Raising a teenager is difficult. If you start early, you can guide them through the harmful effects of soda and sugary snacks. This also includes lemonade, juice, sports drinks, etc. Introduce your kid to dry foods like almonds and raisins. Train your kid to love healthier foods. Use natural sweeteners. Start preparing your kid's favorite sweet treat at home with natural sweeteners like dates, maple syrup, and honey. It's a great way to avoid added sugar. These tactics are all fantastic, but they will not work if your child has already been introduced to sugar. In this case, going cold turkey will not help. Take only small steps at a time and make simple changes. Here are some amazing swaps. Swap sugar-loaded applesauce with the unsweetened kind. Slowly start reducing the number of sugary drinks and increase home-squeezed fresh juices. Replace sugary yogurts with plain yogurt and fresh berries. Some great mid-afternoon options can be apple slices with peanut butter, oranges, popcorn, cheese, and whole grain crackers, hummus, and whole grain pita chips. Avoid giving them treats as rewards. We want the kids to learn that broccoli and carrots are just as good as cookies and ice cream. A good way to do this is to serve a portion of dessert along with dinner itself. If your kid is super young, go easy on them. If they can't get their favorite chocolate or bag of chips, tell them you'll get it for them next time. In most cases, they can have candy every now and then. Children are not machines. Banning sweets from life completely will only make them crave it more. You don't want to completely deprive them of having fun, do you? No, just have a little more control over the foods your kids are eating. Yes, your child's health is important, but that doesn't mean you neglect your own. Here are the 12 healthiest foods you should eat in the morning. Also keep an eye on these 12 cancer-causing foods you should not eat. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to become healthier. Do you struggle to keep your kid away from sweets? Let us know in the comments below.